Is build season like an actual common thing around like the world? Like is there a specific part of the year where everyone starts to do things to their cars generally around the same time? It seems up here that there is a quote unquote build season and that typically you know lasts from about November up until about April or May and within that time most of us can't you know drive the cars that we want to because of this little thing called winter. <laughs> So we decide to take that opportunity to change things up a bit on our cars, whether it's maintenance related, adding more power, some cosmetic stuff, whatever that might be. But the outcome is typically always the same. We always want like that big reveal for what we took the last five to six months to accomplish. What is the car gonna look like for the next show season? One of those kind of big reveal moments that we tend to see a lot is when people change up the color of their cars. You know what I'm talking about. The weeks of like black and white photos being real sneaky, being posted on Instagram, the stories with the little question box that's like, what color do you think it is? You've seen it, you've seen it all. And we see it more and more and more. People changing up the colors of their cars pretty like frequently in some cases, like year after year. And that is because of a little thing called vinyl wrap. It goes without saying, vinyl wrapping cars has made it more affordable and easier to change the entire appearance of your car in a short amount of time, which has led to the argument and the ongoing argument of whether or not vinyl wrap is better than paint. What is going on everybody? I'm Gels from Fitment Industries and that is exactly what we are gonna be talking about today on today's episode of Myth or Fact. Real quick, before we get right into the nitty gritty of this controversial topic, please, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're watching this in the month of November, we have a giveaway going on right now with BC Racing to give away a free set of BR or DS series coilovers to one of you out there. You can check the link in the description below or just head on over to fitmentindustries.com where we have wheels, tires, and suspension as well. Anyway. The argument itself is whether or not vinyl wrap is a better way to change up the color of your car versus the traditional paint booth. Throughout the last few decades, we've seen more and more products hit the market that were intended to provide an easier and more affordable solution to changing up the color and look of your car. And in some cases, advertising that you can do it yourself. And vinyl wrap was one of those solutions. But is it truly the end all for the aftermarket paint job? The idea of expressing oneself through something else has been around since the dawn of time. It's always been important for us to show our own individuality. And as we know, as car enthusiasts, that is especially true with our vehicles. And it was the same for those back in the 20th century as well. With the introduction of stoving enamels and the spray gun actually in the 1930s, auto manufacturers switched from using the old varnish technique to finish their vehicles. This allowed for higher gloss than the varnish used to provide when they put it on you know, the wooden carriages and the, the, the steel buggies and all that kind of stuff. But it was also applied faster and more evenly thanks to the help from the spray gun. As automotive paints and finishes has evolved throughout the 20th century, it wouldn't be long until car guys and gals would get their hands on their own paints and their own tools and their own spray guns and start painting their own cars. This became an art form of itself. Custom body and paint shops started popping up left and right. People eager to do something that expressed their personality with their cars filled the bays of those shops. People took pride in their paint. It was something that they showed off. It was something that they meticulously took care of. In the 70s when emissions were cracked down on and the low rider scene was booming, paint was a major focus of those cars and it was a major point of those builds. From the low riders to hot rods to even motorcycles, there were hundreds and hundreds of different styles and different trends that would have come and gone and then even came back again within automotive paint. It was and still is an incredibly time consuming process and the attention to detail is what makes or breaks a quality paint job. People have spent years and years and years learning and perfecting the trade, thousands of hours spent practicing the techniques to be able to achieve their own signature work when it comes to paint. Now, you would think that how popular vinyl wrap has become, that it is pretty new, a new thing to hit the market. However, you would be wrong. And you never guess where and when 
like it all started. Let's kick it back to 1926. That's right, 1926. A company by the name of Goodrich Corporation, otherwise known as BF Goodrich Company. Yes, the tire manufacturer accidentally discovered how to make vinyl chloride. And even though through this discovery did create new products, jobs, and factories throughout the country, it wouldn't be until around 1950s that there would be a big enough focus on vinyl. Even though die cut vinyl is being used for mobile advertising on vehicles, it got a huge start thanks to the United States Air force using large die cut pieces of vinyl to apply on the aircraft in the form of numbers insignias and all that sort of stuff as vinyl was at the time still very expensive and only large clients such as the u.s air force could actually afford it as production costs came down in the 1980s smaller companies and even the general public could start to afford vinyl and by the 1990s it was even able to be printed on Printed vinyl was huge for the mobile advertising industry as companies would brand their vehicles or their entire fleet of vehicles with everything that they would ever need. As we know, of course, in the early 2000s, they were a strange time, you know, it, they were a different time. And large die cut printed vinyls were huge among the aftermarket car scene. The reason being is that it provided a less expensive, easier way to personalize a vehicle without having to pay someone to paint or airbrush the car. But there was another huge key factor here as well because it was also easily removable it wasn't a permanent application fast forward back to today we see those exact same things being the reason why vinyl wrapping a car is as popular as it is with companies such as 3m avery oracle and many more making some absolutely crazy colors color shifts and even patterns it has made it extremely easy for the general public to get a hold of this stuff and to choose from either like a gloss or a metallic for a pearl or a chrome or a brush finish or a camo or even iridescent color shift colors the amount of different colors and types of vinyl wrap that is out there right now is absolutely insane like the world saw with body shops and paint shops popping up in the 1900s, we saw the exact same thing happen with vinyl shops and vinyl installers. People who took to learning how to install this new product and install it well and do it better than other people. And there are some absolutely fantastic, well-known wrap installers around the country. So that brings us to right now. Here we are, we now have options available to us when it comes to how we want to change the color of our cars. Is paint still the better option or is it being replaced by vinyl i'm going to say this right now i want you to look at me in the eyes okay i need you to hear this in my opinion i do not see vinyl within the next five to ten years being able to match the depth and overall quality of appearance of a good paint job now just wait before the comment section explodes i want you to just keep with me here that doesn't mean that vinyl looks bad or that it doesn't look good i've seen some incredible cars that have been wrapped and sometimes it's truly hard to tell whether it is or not there are wrap installers out there who have dedicated their entire life to learn how to install vinyl just like painters have spent their life learning how to lay paint and the outcomes can be incredible for both but how I look at it is that there is a cap on automotive vinyl right now. The technology just isn't there yet for it to achieve the same qualities of a top quality paint job. I mean, have you seen the paint on some of these builds? It's absolutely incredible. And as of right now, I don't think that it can be matched with vinyl. Can vinyl look as good as some paint jobs? Absolutely, but only up to a certain point. It's just not there yet to match that top tier of paint. Could it eventually be? You know, maybe someday, who knows? The fact of the matter is, however, is that vinyl provides the option for those looking to change the appearance and color of their car that maybe want the option of doing it themselves and don't wanna spend six to $10,000 of learning and buying all the materials to paint their car and even more to do it. It also gives the ability to revert back to the original color of the car so you can just take it off. It's not that uncommon to people wrap their car a different color every year. They wanna change up the appearance and style of their car. It gives it more versatility to what you can do with a single car versus spending a ton of money to have it painted and then have it like that for years and years to come. Vinyl wrap is a very versatile and affordable option versus painting your car. It's why it has become such a popular thing to do. You're able to do it with you and a couple of your friends. You're able to pick it up a lot easier than say learning how to respray an entire car the materials don't cost as much you can do it in a matter of a weekend and overall it's just not as intimidating as repainting a car versus laying some vinyl on top of it so we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below whether you would prefer vinyl or paint on your car and also let us know what topics you would like us to cover next
next on the next episode of Myth or Fact. Don't forget the BC Racing Coilover giveaway going on right now. If you're watching this in November, pick up some dope apparel, get entered in win free set of coilovers for your car. And of course, don't forget wheels, tires, suspension, fitmentindustries.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like the video and we will see you next time. Peace.